Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate median test for two independent samples using IBM SPSS. Median test for two independent samples is required when your grouping variable is measured on nominal scale and your scores are measured either on a ordinal scale or a interval scale or a ratio scale. That means you are measuring on a two different scales. One is a nominal scale and another data comes from an ordinal scale or any higher scale. So in such scenario, you need to use the median test for two independent samples. I will explain you this with the two examples of a real life using uh, IBM SPSS statistics. The median test is a procedure for testing whether two independent groups differ in central tendencies. So here we measure central tendencies using the help of a median. Then the median test will give information as to whether it is likely that two independent groups are not necessarily of the same size. The groups may be of a different sizes. Generally, uh, researchers are of the assumption that when we are conducting a median test, the groups should be of an equal size. It is not required necessarily uh, of the same size, not necessarily of the same size. Any uh, some group, let us say group one uh, may be of a 30 respondents then group 2 may have a 20 respondents that is not a criteria here and it checks whether this drawn from a same population with the same median value or not so the hypothesis that we frame in uh, median test is that the null hypothesis is that two groups are from a population with the same median and the alternative hypothesis is of a two sided uh, one is that median of the population is different from that of the other this is a two tailed and or that the median of the one population is higher than that of the other this is a one-sided test so the application is that the test may be used whenever the scores for the two groups are in at least ordinal scale that means the ordinal scales like your uh, uh, ranking then at least ordinal scale that means you can uh, even use the median test for a interval scale as well as a ratio scale also or a continuous uh, data on a continuous data also you can use so here is uh, one example a small business owner of a rural India is selling his products through two online marketplaces she is interested to know whether orders generated by these two online marketplaces are similar or not so she collected data for 25 days using the data test whether the orders are generated by two online marketplaces or not so here your grouping variables or your groups are online marketplaces. So there are two online marketplaces. One is a flip and another is AMG. And then the sales, that is the sales orders are being calculated. So orders is measured on a continuous scale. That means your uh, grouping variables are measured on a nominal and scores are measured on interval scale. So uh, here we have our data. Here is a data sheet and uh, we just look into variable view. We are in a variable view marketplace. So you can see that uh, zero as a flip and one as a AMG, two marketplaces. Then your orders are here. So to run uh, median test, go to menu command and from here choose analyze. And from analyze, uh, now non-parametric tests. From non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues and in legacy dialogues, choose k independent samples so once you have a k independent samples in a test variable select your uh, daily orders and send it to a test variable and online marketplace send it to a grouping variable and uh, define a groups as you have a zero and one so minimum is a zero and uh, maximum is one then click continue uncheck crystal values h test and click on a median then uh, click exact so here select exact then click continue then click ok so the output is presented in an output uh, document so here you can see the median daily orders uh, for a flip it is a 10 for amz it is a 15 less than uh, median it is a flip is 15 and uh, amz is 10 so daily orders n is a 50 median is a 60 chi square value is a uh, 2 then you look at here 
the exact sign value is 0.258 all right so and uh, significance value is 0.17 so based on these values you retain a null hypothesis saying that there is no significant difference in orders received by the small business owner from two market places that is a flip and amz there is no significant difference in the order places uh, orders received from these two uh, market places this is uh, one example and we have a second example here now a cooperative bank in a city claims that the salaries it pays to its employees who are having total work experience up to five years are on par with private sector commercial bank employees now one of the newly recruited management trainee of the cooperative bank wished to examine this claim he randomly collected data from 30 employees each from the cooperative bank branches and private commercial bank branches is the cooperative bank's claim is correct so in this context so your uh, classification that is the uh, groups are two one is a cooperative bank employees and second one is a commercial bank employees and the variable which is measured is a salary which is measured on a scale so as one is on a nominal scale and one is on an ordinal or a scale, then you need to run median test to look at the central tendency uh, or the, to look at the differences between the salaries paid to cooperative bank as well as a private commercial bank. Now here we have a uh, data. Now you can see here the cooperative, that is a sector. One is a cooperative, second one is a private. Click OK. Now uh, salary to run your uh, uh, median test. This time we do it in a different way. Uh, so here non-parametric. Then uh, from non-parametric, the previous example we used the legacy dialogues and K independent samples. But this time we look at the independent samples here from a non-parametric directly. And from here automatically compare distributions across the groups. Then go to fields. So in a fields, the test variable, monthly salary, select this one and uh, send it to test fields. Now you can see here the test fields accepts only two types one is the ordinal and second one is the scale values if you are measuring that is a test field is on a nominal scale then it will not accept then uh, choose the sector then send it to a groups and if you observe here groups it accepts all the three nominal ordinal as well as a scale so select a groups here then go to settings now here Customize uh, tests and choose compare medians across groups. All right. Instead of automatically choose the test based on the data, you need to click on a customize tests and in customize test, check on a uh, median test for a case samples. Then uh, test options, uh, significance level of a 5%, that is 0 0.05. Use missing values. You can ignore this. Then once you are done with uh, these three calculations, uh, options then click on a run and the output is presented in an output document the advantage of running a statistical test that is a median test using the second approach is that this will give you hypothesis test summary here it uh, the null hypothesis automatically is framed the medians of monthly gross salary are the same across the categories of sector type that is the null hypothesis that the monthly gross salary of a private sector employees as well as a cooperative bank employees are the same and the test is the independent samples median test and the significance value is 0 0.02 so it this the decision is that reject the null hypothesis as the significance value is less than 0 0.05 you reject the null hypothesis so this uh, hypothesis test summary will solve all your uh, confusions because directly you can copy this and uh, interpret the uh, result now in addition to that here you have a uh, status 6, the total number of respondents are uh, 60, 30 from a cooperative bank and 30 from a private sector commercial bank and median is a 15,000 is a median monthly salary and test status 6 is 11.58 and significance value is 0 0.01 which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. So you can conduct the median test in a both the ways that is uh, one is going to analyze then uh, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues and k independent samples this is one option and second is non-parametric test independent samples so among these two the going for a non-parametric test and a independent uh, samples this option is uh, most preferable because it will give you the hypo hypothesis test summary with which you can easily uh, find out whether to uh, reject the null hypothesis or retain the null hypothesis thank you thank you for listening to the lecture